Hey guys, welcome to the next video and another question. Actually, I have a couple of questions for you today, a couple of probability questions. The first one, if C and D are two even such that C is a subset, a proper subset of D and probability of D is not equal to zero, then the correct statement among the following is probability C condition to D is greater than or equal to probability C Probability C condition to D is less than probability C. Probability C condition to D is probability D upon probability C. Or is it that probability C condition to D will be equal to probability C? Let's see what would be the correct answer. So from your option, you know that we are evaluating relationship for the conditional probability C condition to D, right? So let's consider this conditional probability. And this will be equal to probability C intersection D upon probability D, right? Now, what do we know? We know that C is a proper subset of D. If one set is a proper subset of another, so this is the scenario. So the smaller one is C and the bigger one is D. So which means that your intersection is the entire set C. So therefore, because C is contained in D, therefore C intersection D is equal to just C, right? So this implies probability C conditioned on D is equal to probability C intersection D upon probability D, which is just probability C upon probability D. Now, do we have any option giving us that? No, none of the options is giving us that. The options are definitely talking about some inequalities. So what we know is probability of D has to be less than or equal to 1, right? Any probability has to be less than or equal to 1. So that implies 1 upon probability D has to be greater than or equal to 1. If that's the case, then if you notice probability C upon probability D, suppose you have a fraction, say, half. Probability is always between 1 and uh, 0 and 1. So let's say probability C is half and probability D is also, of course, lesser than 1. So let's say just, and it's in just an example, let's say it is 1 by 4. If that is the case, the result that you will fetch, the result that you will fetch here will be So since you're dividing by 1 by 4, you will be getting 4 upon 2, that is 2, which is definitely more than, more than what your numerator was, which was half. So because probability D is lesser than 1, which is obvious, it's a probability, so you're dividing some fraction by some fraction, you're dividing some number by a number uh, which is lesser than 1, then this will be definitely more than, this will give you something more than or equal to. If it is 1, nothing changes. But this will give you something more than probability of C. So, the numerator basically. So, the inequality that is correct is option A. Probability C condition to D is greater than or equal to probability C. So A would be the correct answer here. Let's work on another probability question. Let A, B, C be pairwise independent events with probability C strictly greater than 0 and probability of the intersection A intersection with B intersection with C is equal to 0. Then probability a complement, intersection B complement, given or condition to C is equal to probability A complement minus probability B, probability A minus probability B complement, 
probability a complement minus probability b complement probability a complement minus probability let's make this probability a complement plus probability b complement let's see which is the most appropriate option so what i would suggest you is to try to picture this if you have three sets if you have three sets three, three events or three sets such that the probability they're pairwise independent so fine we have to think about their pairwise intersection but what we you need to you know graph it in a manner or you need to put your venn diagram in a manner that the prob uh, that, that that the intersection of all three is zero so you understand something of this sort even if i make this big just so that i can see those intersections this has to be there is no intersection of the three you do have intersection of say this is a this is b this is c so what we get here is that probability a intersection b is equal to probability a into probability b because it's pairwise independent a intersection c probability is probability a multiplied by probability c probability b intersection c is probability b multiplied by probability c okay what you need to understand here is clearly that there is no intersection of all three that is phi what we have to find out is probability a complement intersection b complement condition to c so this means i am interested in probability a complement intersection b complement intersection c upon probability d that's what is, uh, probability c that's what is conditional probability formula right so i'm just mentioning the conditional probability formula nothing else now can you see what this intersection is a complement anything that is not in a everything that is not in a is a complement so all this is a complement all this is a complement okay all this is a complement now b complement b complement is everything that is not in b which is all this 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 is not in b now what about c c we already have this is c so if you observe what is the intersection of these three things a complement intersection b complement intersection c what is the common part which is uh, you know giving you c as well as a complement and b complement the common part is basically this part of c which excludes the intersection so in other words let's just concentrate on a complement intersection b complement intersection c it is same as c minus it is same as c minus this part and this part that is c minus a intersection with c and b intersection with c so what i can say is probability a complement intersection b complement intersection c upon probability c is nothing but probability c minus probability a intersection c minus probability b intersection c upon probability c okay so this will give us probability c minus because there is independence a and c are independent so probability a into probability c this intersection will be probability b into probability c 
whole thing upon probability C. Now, if you divide, you will get 1 minus probability C, probability C cancels off. So, you will have 1 minus probability A minus probability B. Now, let's look at our options. Our options are probability A complement minus probability B, probability A minus probability B complement, probability A complement minus probability B complement, or probability A complement plus probability B complement. Okay, so from here, what do you get? Upon, I've, I've already cancelled probability C. So from here, what do you get? You get 1 minus probability A could be taken as probability A complement minus probability B. Or you can also, you know, take probability B with it. So that would become probability B complement minus probability A. Even that could have been the correct answer. Uh, but that's not a part of our options. Our options are saying probability A complement minus probability B, which is what it is turning out to be. The second option is probability A minus probability B complement. That's not what you are getting. You're getting probability B complement minus probability A. So that option is not here. Uh, that, 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 that option we don't have. So we will uh, mark A as the correct answer. This is the kind, these are the actually kind of questions which uh, could be asked in any of the entrances for that matter. So I hope you are able to, you know, uh, recognize uh, when to use uh, when diagram. See, you need to basically optimize on your time when you are sitting for any kind of entrance. So you need to know which method suits you where. In the sense, to foresee this question, it was easier for me to create a Venn diagram and, you know, figure out what exactly this would be. And once you see that, it will click. Definitely, it will click. For some of the questions, you don't really have to create any Venn diagram. You can, you know, mentally just calculate. So, but these are actually the kind of questions that could be asked in any of the entrances. I hope this helps. Thank you.